may pips be upon you. We're going to talk about pound cad on the one. I, I'm doing it again. The one daily, right? The daily. Dog on it. Just like my friend Tracy Morgan, the comedian. Just like he says all the time to me. Whenever I show him one of these charts. Yo, that's crazy. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, what we have here is some sideways action. This isn't the kind of price action you should be messing around with. Not really. If you look at it, if you widen it out a little bit, wide out a little bit, you'll see it's it's really it's really sideways. I mean, this is the kind of kind of situation I would normally just be like, nah, I'll take a pass. There are uh, there are easier markets to mess with, right? However, I think we have an opportunity here. You see how price hits this strong support here? Every time it hits this strong support, it goes up, okay? We just have to notice these things, right? Boom, boom, boom. Every time it hits, now here we are again. What do you think it's gonna do? Are we gonna go all the way up? Did we miss our opportunity already? Well, let's have a close look. Maybe we did. Maybe we did. All right. Now, I want to go to the four hour because this is where I think the opportunity lies. Look at the price action first. All right. Come all the way up here. Nice. All right. And then we come back down to the lower trading range here, hitting this strong support here. Boom, we break through. All right. There is no retest, no retest yet. All right. We did price did come up, make a lower high, made that lower low, and then we made a lower low. All right. Then we break back up into the higher end of this trading range here. Okay. That's something to notice. What I also want you to notice is I always look for the wick to come back, uh, the, the lowest wick in structure in the low in previous lows for price if it breaks through that that uh that support to come back and test as resistance i didn't see that that lowest low till i looked over in this area nope that's not it this one is and that's where i have this line drawn okay all right this area is where i'm looking for price to come back and test oh look at that it came back and tested that now having done that we see the reaction there right what am i thinking i'm thinking if price continues to fill that wick, I hope you can see that wick pretty clearly. I'm talking about this wick right here, okay? If it com completes the fill of this wick and breaks this support here, this minor support, I will be interested in taking a short. Why? Because... Look at what we got right here. Bingo. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to play out for an inverted head and shoulders. But when you see price make a lower low and then make a near equal high, a near, near or equal high, it found a resistance up here. That's usually what follows a, an inverted head and shoulders. All right. Doesn't happen all the time, but I'm looking for it to happen this time. And I also want you to notice too, see this, are the, the uh, stochastics it's oversold over, excuse me. It's overboard. This is where we want it. This is the area I had pointed to in the uh, weekly uh, forecast uh, video. You should go and check it out. After you finish this here, I, I got a, a bunch of trades that I, uh, a, a bunch of pairs that I looked at and, and scoped for uh, uh, setups. So look at that uh, after you do after you're done with this one. But uh, I'm thinking that we're about to make this head and shoulders. I'm thinking also there are some pips to be made here, about 89 to 90 pips, right? You know, and 100 100 pips is my threshold. You know, if it comes down here, then I'm going to hit my 100 pip, the 100 pip mark. All right. If it comes all the way down here, I hope it does. I'm going to wait for it to break, though. I'm going to wait for it to break that level. Now, 
in the case that it doesn't break that lead level and it continues up, no problem, no problem. I just wait. You just wait patiently, all right, for price to, what is price going to do? You wait, wait for price to break this level of resistance and turn it into support. Wait until it comes back for the retest and then take it up, take it up high. All right. Now this could look more like so. Yeah, it could look more like so. So, you know, just bear that in mind. Okay. We wanted to come back for the retest after it breaks this resistance and turn it into support. Okay. That's it. That's in the case that uh, option one doesn't work, does, doesn't uh, uh, happen. All right. Th understand we're still uh, in a, uh, uh, a side, we got some sideways action going and it, it looks like we might be forming a re this reverse reversal pattern. I would love to take this down and then turn this into a long position. All right. So we're going to see what happens. If we get, we get proof that uh, price has weakened and will uh, break past this uh, support, then we can take this down for a quick uh, 90 to 100 pips. And when price shows bullish price action here, we'll see it definitely on the uh, one hour. We wait for the bullish price action, little dojis of rejection, and then that bullish uh, uh, uh engulfer or the, a bullish momentum candle and then you can take that one up all the way up that that's that's going to be the trade we're waiting for price to come back down here for the big trade this is this is a uh, snack time this is our entree i'll see you in the next video